Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I am going to discuss how to fill out the online customs declaration form when going to the Philippines. But before we get started, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Let's get started. Philippines is going digital when it comes to customs declaration form. This is the new iDeclare.customs.gov.ph. What is the purpose? The purpose is for fast and easy transaction of customs declaration form. Who are required to fill out the online customs declaration form? All arriving passengers at the Nino Aquino International Airport, Terminal 1 only. When to fill out within 48 hours prior to arrival in the Philippines. The online customs declaration form must be filled out by NAIA Terminal 1 passengers. I declare that customs.gov.ph. All other passengers must fill out the physical form such as the paper customs declaration form. All passengers arriving at other terminals at NAIA or Manila Airport or all other ports of entry in the Philippines. The physical form will be provided by airline personnel. The rule is that only one form is required per family. Per family means that members of a family who are related by blood, marriage, or adoption arriving on the same flight. Here's the actual dashboard of the online declaration form. You must Put a check mark on the privacy policy and proceed to I declare. On the left portion of the dashboard, it shows arriving in the Philippines. Click on ECBD application in blue highlight and it will show you the actual form that you needed to fill out. The port of arrival is NAIA Terminal 1. There's only one drop down menu and then you need to click next. The next item is the important information for all passengers. All persons and baggage are subject to search at any time. All goods, when imported from any foreign country, shall be subject to duties and taxes. So all travelers bringing in goods with a value of 10,000 pesos or below shall not pay duties and taxes. Also, all Filipino citizens are entitled to a duty and tax exemption for personal effects and household goods. The value must not exceed 150,000 pesos within a calendar year. Also, the goods must not be in commercial quantities or intended for barter, sale, or hire. Also, you're entitled to importation of a specific quantities of cigars and liquor. Failure to declare will subject you to duties and taxes plus a surcharge of 30% based on the total landed cost of goods. There are also prohibited items. Examples are obscene materials, materials advocating treason or rebellion, abortion materials, adulterated or misbranded food or drugs, counterfeit goods or other goods manufactured in precious metals. Also, please take note of the offenses. Once you've read everything, put a check mark and click close. Here's the personal information. These are the standard information that you will need to provide when filling out an online customs declaration form or paper customs declaration form. Indicate your surname, your first name, your gender, your birth date. Also indicate your middle name, your citizenship, also your passport number, the place of issuance of your passport, the date your passport was issued, your occupation, your profession, contact number, and then address in the Philippines. If it's your first time visiting Philippines, indicate yes. And then if no, you will need to indicate the last date of departure from the Philippines. You must also indicate the country of origin and then the date of arrival. For the date of arrival, arrival must not be earlier than the current date. You must also indicate your airline or flight number, the type of traveler, and the purpose of travel. You must also indicate the number of accompanying members of the family below 18 years of age or 18 and above. 
also the number of baggage checked in or hand carried. Let's proceed to the general declaration. You must also indicate the total amount of goods purchased or acquired abroad either in Philippine Peso or US Dollar. You must declare Philippine Peso in excess of 50,000 pesos or US Dollars in excess of $10,000. Gambling paraphernalia, cosmetics, dangerous drugs, firearms, alcohol or tobacco products in commercial quantities. Food items, gadgets or mobile phones, and cremains or human ashes. Jewelry and other precious metals and other goods. You must also indicate the quantity, the description, and then the value. Once you're done, you must scroll down and then add attachments such as documents or images. You must also indicate that everything is true and correct to the best of your knowledge and then sign the online form. You must also indicate a valid email address. And then the port of arrival is Naia Terminal 1 and then click Submit. Once you click Submit, you will receive a barcode indicating that you have successfully submitted all the information. This is what it should look like once the application has been submitted. Keep the reference number information and also you can download the image. Make sure to check your email address for further details or if you have anything that you wanted to change or amend in the online customs declaration form. Once you have successfully submitted the online declaration form, you must present this when you land in the Philippines. If you are interested in knowing the paper copy of the customs declaration form, I'm going to show it to you as well. The physical form will be required of other passengers not arriving at Naia Terminal 1. The downside is that you must do this in writing and then there is no further explanation if you're going to declare other information. If you go to the general declaration, if you answered no, then you must carefully explain why you answered no. The advantage of the online form is that you can explain or add more information if you answered no. If you have any other questions or comments please post them down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can again thank you guys for watching and if you haven't liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell i always welcome new subscribers thank you guys for watching i hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day